So I am inside a McLaren Elva. As you can see from the steering wheel, there's a lot of leather, there's a lot of carbon fiber, and this is the onboard computer system. So it has a music player, and of course you have pretty much everything. So there's a controls for the uh, climate control that you can see at the bottom. You have phone navigation, pretty much all the standard of items. The seats are actually not that bad. Uh, here you have the engine start stop buttons and switches for changing the gears, hazard lights. And that's pretty much it. It's a very, very simple, elegant and minimalistic interior. And that's uh, its door that's open. It's like a blade in the sky. Looks beautiful. Actually, this car is very similar to the Ferrari uh, Monza SP1 and SP2. But it is actually a little better in term, uh, because it's a little easier to get in and out of it. Uh, the, the seat is a little deep into the body, but not as deep as it is in the Monza. So getting in and out is a little easier. So let's have a look at the exterior because the interior is nice, but this car is unlike any other car or uh, other McLaren out there. So here we close the door carefully and let's take a step back to see this beautiful machine. So this particular car is beautiful uh, in and it has a really nice paint scheme of black and orange looks incredible see how powerful the headlights are you have daytime running lights you have regular lights it's a very very sleek car and uh, its aerodynamic system is also very very different than any other car out there so pretty much you have a, a standard air intake in the front end and, and then you have a very sleek body but uh, still because it has no windscreen no roof for a particular reason this car's aerodynamic system is of course a little tricky and in fact it's quite clever so uh, here's this door mirror you can see how it's designed to be aerodynamic uh, there's an air intake uh, there to channel air into the engine bay and uh, yeah the rest of the interior is perfect so of course you can have this car in any other uh, paint scheme that you want and uh, this particular car has the bruce mclaren signature here bruce mclaren is of course the founder he's like the enzo ferrari of mclaren you have uh, air vents here that's of course to let uh, the air into the engine bay. Then you have a grill there. That's of course to let the air, hot air out of the engine bay. So yes, aerodynamics uh, are very important for this car. Of course, uh, so is ventilation and uh, uh, cooling the engine bay. So this is it. This is the engine bay. The engine in this is pretty much the same as you get in McLaren's 4-liter twin turbo V8. This one makes uh, around 815 horsepower. Now it has two types of different exhaust pipes. So you do, you have two in the middle and two uh, right up there uh, in the body. Then you have a very sleek horizontal tail lights. And of course you have a lot of gap here to let the air out when the rear wheels are spinning. The rear end uh, diffuser is pretty much uh, hollow. That's of course to let as much of hot air uh, out of the engine bay as possible. You do get a reverse camera, of course, because reversing this car is not going to be easy. So you have the main exhaust pipes here next to the McLaren and Elva logo. Then you have exhaust pipes here in the body as well. So two exhaust pipes are for, uh, you know, uh, higher bass noises, two are for lower. So you get a very unique uh, sound from this car. Now, the reason why this car does not have a windscreen or a roof is because both the roof and the uh, windscreen create a lot of drag. So this car is going to be much quicker in terms of uh, acceleration. It's going to be much sharper around the corners. You're going to get a very unique driving experience. Of course, uh, there are of course a couple of things to make life easier for you. Uh, you have this uh, design here to channel air away from the driver's face. And uh, yeah, it, that's not all. You see, uh, the way this car's aerodynamics are designed, uh, when you're going at lower speeds, you're going to pretty much have a vacuum uh, effect. Uh, you're not going to feel anything. In fact, uh, if you have long hair, like if you're sitting, uh, if you're sitting with a girl who has longer hair, her hair is not going to move unless you go at very high speeds. All right. So here is a massive air intake, and all the air that goes in actually comes out of here, uh, facing forward. So that outward coming air crashes with the you know the air traveling over the car's body. And that is diverted over the cabin. So basically at normal speeds, the driver and the passenger are not going to feel uh, air in their faces because of the way this car is designed. That's very, very clever. Not very different from the aerodynamics in the Ferrari Monza. Uh, in the Monza, the aerodynamics system is designed to channel air away from the driver, not the passenger. Here, it's a little different. 
So this car is only limited to 149 units. Top speed is around 180-ish miles per hour. Um, sure, it can do fast. I'm sure it can go faster. Now, uh, just behind the seats, you have a, a small place there where you can store your helmet and goggles because you're going to need them if you're ever going to drive really fast in this car. So yes, this is a very, very unique and interesting car. Of course, there's another thing here. There's a, there's a wind reflector here that can rise up to create more, uh, you know, more resistance and it diverts the air uh, to the sides, uh, creating a better protection against the oncoming air for the driver and the passenger. So that's it for the Elva. But since I'm here at People of Fate, I'm very, very grateful for them uh, for letting me get inside this car. I want to show you what else they have here. And uh, since there are a lot of cars, I'm just going to focus on the McLarens that they have here. So the McLarens that they have here are some of the most unique and interesting cars. Uh, I'm talking about the one at the back, uh, just in front of that SLR McLaren. This is a McLaren Speedtail. I got a chance to sit in this as well. It's absolutely enormous. It's gorgeous. It's It has completely different... Uh, uh, aerodynamics and it is phenomenal. It's limited to 106 units only. It's around four million dollars. It is a beautiful, incredible, and one of my favorite hypercars of all time because it's nothing compared to what uh, Bugatti are making or what even Koenigsegg is making. This is something different. So uh, what else is there? This this 765 LT Spider limited to just 765 units. You have a Bugatti Chiron. You have another 765 LT there. You have a McLaren. A 620R, you have three uh, 675LTs here. Uh, yeah, so that's their McLaren collection. So if you want to see more McLaren videos of the, uh, just head on down.